Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just with the bro Wills. Hey bro. AKA Oski Projects, Oski Real Projects. Check him out on Instagram. And we're just heading down for a bit of a squid. He's gonna show me the ropes because he's the master. We'll see if we can get one. And then if so, we'll come back and we'll cook it. And hopefully, hopefully we get a good one, bro. Yeah, we'll give it a go, eh? So we'll see you down at the wharf. So what's your rod and reel here? Reel here is just a little Daiwa Red Ross. Yep. Um, use it for soft baiting too. And then I'm on a slash rod. Is it a proper rod. proper eggy rod, eh? Yeah. Is that seven foot or something? Yeah, about seven foot. Yeah. Just over seven foot. Wills has just got one. Bring him up. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's a goodie. Um, yeah. Shit, I brought, should have brought the net, bro. You reckon? Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> yep. Oh, bro, he's just hot. Yep. <laughs> nah, you're good. Yeah, bro. You got it. Woo! Get a bit of hold of him. How big is that you reckon? Probably pushing around 500 grams. It's not too big. You could go. 10 minutes into it and look at that. Thumper of a squid. I believe it's a female. Beauty. Soaked with that bro? Yeah bro, pretty happy with that. <laughs> pretty happy. Out. Pretty slow down here, so I'm super stoked to come. All right, so just above, around the eyes here. Yep. Just a turn to wow. white. Wow, we go. Look at that. Ready to butcher. It's a good size, man. Good size for this season too. How cool is that? What did you get it on? So we got it on a 3.0 size Black Magic jig. Good old Black Magic, eh? Wicked. Bigger size though. Yep. Natural colour. Test by test. And as. Yum. As you would have just seen, the wind's picked up heavily. About a 15 knot, hang on, just turn the light on there. About a 15 knot, um, 15, 20 knot bloody southwest wind, which has just hammered us. And unfortunately, Will actually hooked another little squid. Probably would have been three, 400 gram. We thought it was an octopus, but it was actually a squid. And um, yeah, bloody dropped the jig right at the surface. So I'm back at the car, he's keen as he's he had one more cast, but he's probably had another five. That's all good. Um, plan is we're gonna we're gonna stop under the Harbour Bridge on the way back. It's on the way back anyway, and uh, have a little flick there. But we've got that one squid in there, 528 grams. So that's gonna be a main feed for us when we get back. And it's pretty late now, so it'll be a it'll be a early morning cook up about 1 a.m. or something. 
but yeah awesome to see a squid like that it's the first time I've seen one that big as well just awesome within 10 minutes of being there having that wicked man here comes Wills now anyway we'll see you back at the harbour bridge on our way home and then we'll be in the kitchen prepping and cooking that squid it's gonna be on see you down the bridge What do you reckon bro, does it look squiddy? <laughs> no. I may as well give it a go on the way home, eh? Ooh, look at those birds over there. What size is this one? 3.0 black major, black and yeah. red. Got nice. a red underfoil colour. Yeah. Which goes good with lighting. Also in daytime. Nice. Oh well, that was all good. Couple of inquiries we had. We had a tiny little squid chase the jig, eh, bro? That was um, that was pretty cool. But it jumped off it right at the top. But unfortunately, I didn't have that on camera. But I got some awesome shots of uh, casting under there, and those lights are impressive, man. Check out this light show. Shut this light off. Bloody wicked, man. If you haven't checked this out in person like this, come check it out at night. It's wicked. Must use a lot of power though. <laughs> anyway, we're off over the shore to cook this squid. It's going to be bloody delicious. We'll see you in the kitchen. some squid. Smell that squid. Mm. So we're just going to quickly clean the squid that we caught in the Auckland Harbour tonight. To do that, it's quite easy. With two fingers, you'll feel the quill, which is the backbone of the squid. You just push up there. Oh, yeah. Which detaches it from the flesh. Get it all the way out. So where's the gut sack? Is it attached a, to the head? Yeah, it's all attached to the head. Bit of a messy job, but... Bit of a messy job, especially when you burst it in clip. And then with a slightly firm pull. Yep. It'll all come out in one. Oh, just like that. so. Yeah. And that there would make a great snapper bait, <laughs> which is what I like to do with the heads. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll put this aside. Okay. To put in the freezer. Yeah. You can eat the tentacles, but for me that's a great snapper bait. This here is yeah, all the egg sacs. Oh wow, look at that. It's the row. Now from here, that's the top of the squid on the side. Get our thumb just behind this flat. Slide up, slide down, yeah, and you can usually get the whole lot off in one, 
have to be really carefulness. Oh uh, yes. Just like so. Come over to the other flat. Repeat the same. Thumb in behind. Up. Down. Oop. Drop it. <laughs> the skin comes off just like so. So do you eat that outer skin or no? So these flaps here mm. contain perfect eating meat. Yeah. You just de-skin them and eat oh, them. Okay. But they also make great snap baits. So from here, after it's de-skinned, we just nestle our thumb under the back here. Oh yeah, I heard that. Grab that bone. Wow, Ooh. is there a bone in there? Yeah. Cartilage kind of material. And we pull it out like so. Wow, check that out. Which is what you usually find in your bait packs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just like plastic. Hmm. Well, it looks super clean now. Yep. We'll paper dry it, get all the moisture off. Yep. The more moisture you leave on, the usually goes a bit tough once you've cooked it. And from here, we're going to just cut. Yum, there's your squid rings. Produces a room for our egg for our three comments. Nice and easy, really. Yeah. Hard parts catching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, one normal size, a medium size squid produces quite a few rings. Yeah, man. Which is quite wicked. awesome. It's usually two people on kind of one squid, a good size anyway. Straight into the egg. Around with a fork, save using wet hand. Into the flour. Back into the egg. Yeah. I don't worry too much about how messy it all gets. You end up with the same product I found. Good dab. That looks so good. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, I don't know about all use, but that's making me super hungry. How many hours do you reckon to put in to get that? Ten. Ten. Ten hours. Yeah. That was worth it, man. Ready for the frying pan. Nice and hot. Oh, yeah, listen to that. And it goes. Oh, beauty. We don't want to crowd it. We'll do a bit, of, a bit at a time. They're going to come out nice and golden brown, eh? Yep. We want to cook them quite quick. About a minute and a half all that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nice and quick. <sighs> Over there. It goes a bit chewy. So what do we got here? Sweet chili? Sweet chili and a bit of aioli. The sweet chili there. Oh look at that. Yum. Let's go look at that. Oh my god. Ten hours of hard work hunting those squid. All down to this moment. Oh 
man. Better than takeaway shop. They're good. Yeah. Real good. Homemade squid rings. Made with a squid that's about an hour old. <laughs> that's fine dining for a canine. Plate. That was so good. Got plenty of chef, chef over here, Chef Wills. Done the damage on that black magic lure. Yeah. Thanks, bro, for a good night. Appreciate no worries, it. Bro. It was awesome time. And you, buddy. You helped, eh? Helped demo the plate.